Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install official SteamOS on your ROG Ally, your Ally X, the Legion Go S or the Legion Go. This will also work on some other handhelds like the Windows version of the Legion Go S or the original Legion Go. I've also tested this on the Zotac Zone and a couple 1X player devices without the HX370. So this is official from Valve. With their recent update, we do have initial support for the ROG Ally and the Legion Go S. Over on their installation page, it does give you a rundown, but the only thing we're really gonna need here is a USB drive. And I would recommend using something pretty fast because it's just gonna make it a lot quicker to go through this process. But if you wanna get this installed on your handheld device, we're gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna be doing this from another Windows machine, but keep in mind, you could also do this with Linux or Mac. Basically, we need to get our USB drive set up so we can install SteamOS on our handheld. Setting up a USB drive to install SteamOS on our device is relatively simple, and I would recommend a faster USB drive. It's just gonna make life so much simpler. I'll leave a link in the description. This is the one that I personally use. It does up to 300 megs a second and I use an adapter with it, but they sell one that's USB type C. And I'll tell you, if you're using an older USB 2.0 drive, it can take a while to flash and even boot up on your system, anywhere from five to 10 minutes just to boot up. So keep that in mind. First thing we need to do is get the SteamOS recovery image and it's over on Valve's website. I'll leave a link in the description. Steam OS recovery and installation. This used to be known as the Steam Deck recovery and installation. If we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see we've got a brand new section. Legion Go, Legion Go S, ROG Ally. This is gonna tell us exactly how to disable secure boot because we will need to do so in order to get this to boot up correctly on our device. I'll go over that in just a second. But what we need to do here is find the download. It's gonna be right here. So we're gonna download the recovery image. We'll agree to the terms. We'll go ahead and download it. The next thing we're gonna need is an application to get this flashed over to our USB drive. Since I'm on Windows, I'm gonna be using Rufus. If you're on Mac or Linux, you can use an application called Etcher. But with Windows, I do suggest using this one and Valve does also. We're gonna scroll down here. We'll get the EXE. And once we have Rufus and the recovery image downloaded, we can actually start getting this flashed. I've got Rufus right here on my desktop. I've got the Steam Deck recovery image right here. We're not gonna unzip this. We're not gonna extract it. We're gonna leave it just like it is. We'll start Rufus. And on the initial startup of this application, I might ask you if you want it to automatically update. You can choose yes or no, it's really up to you. At the very top here, this is gonna be the device we're gonna be flashing to. I'm gonna plug my USB drive in now. Shows up right here. And just make sure that you're choosing the correct drive. I know for sure that my USB drive is drive D, so I'm good to go there. We're gonna select the Steam Deck recovery image. Mine's right on my desktop. So I'm just gonna select that. And now we're gonna start. It's gonna give us a warning. It's gonna wipe the flash drive completely. So if you're ready to go, choose okay and you'll get a status bar down here. Give it some time to finish up. Again, a faster flash drive is just gonna work so much better. Once it's finished, our status bar is gonna read ready, and now we can move over to the device we wanna install SteamOS on. We're gonna install SteamOS on the original ROG Ally, and getting into the BIOS is different from the Legion Go or the Legion Go S. But the first thing we need to do is plug in our USB drive and with the Ally in order to get to the BIOS to disable secure boot without a keyboard, we're gonna power it up and hold our volume down button. I find that tapping it like five times and then holding it while it's booting up gets right into the BIOS for us. On the Legion Go or the Legion Go S, instead of holding volume down, you're gonna hold volume up. Again, we've also got our USB drive plugged in because we needed to boot from that once we get secure boot disabled but just give it a few seconds and we're in the BIOS on the original Ally. If you're doing this on the Ally X, it looks exactly the same. First thing we wanna do is change the boot order. So we boot from the USB and we can do that from the menu. It might show up twice, I just drag them up to the top. Now we're gonna press Y. That's gonna bring us to the advanced settings. Using the D-pad, we can go over to security, all the way down to secure boot. And we wanna make sure that this is disabled. You can use A to select. Once that's disabled, 
You can make sure from the boot section here in the advanced options that we're going to be booting from the USB drive. Now we'll use the D-pad to move over to save and exit. And we want to make sure we save and exit here. Once we do this, it's going to reboot the system. And we're now going to be booting from the SteamOS image that we flashed to the USB drive. We still haven't installed it yet. We're going to get into the installer. Could take a second to boot up. And it really depends on the speed of your drive. We'll get some on-screen text here. Welcome to SteamOS. And now we need to pause for a second because once we install SteamOS, it's going to wipe our M.2 drive. So Windows will be totally deleted from the system. Now's a good time to decide if you really want to do it or not. You can open this up, install a new M.2 drive, but the way this is set up with the official SteamOS image, we're not going to be dual booting anything. This is going to wipe the drive completely. We've got four options, clear local user data, repair SteamOS install, Terminal with repair tools and wipe device and install SteamOS. We want to choose option four, wipe device and install SteamOS. It's going to give us another warning here. If you're ready to proceed, you can hit proceed with it. Again, this is going to wipe the storage in the unit, so it will delete Windows if you have it installed. Through terminal or what they call console here with Arch Linux, it's going to give us a little bit of a rundown. It's just going to wipe that M.2 drive. It's going to install SteamOS for us. Give it some time to finish up. Once it does, we'll get an option to go ahead and reboot the system. Once the screen goes black, we can unplug the USB drive. And now we've got SteamOS installed here. There's still a bit of configuration that needs to be done. Most of it's automatic. And uh, by the end, we'll just have to sign in with our Steam account. We've got the SteamOS logo. Now we need to configure our locale option. So we'll choose the language and we'll choose our time zone here. We'll also have to connect to a wireless network, or if you've got a USB hub, you can always use Ethernet. Now I'm connected. It's going to finish the installation for us. And once this reboots one time, we're going to be brought to the Steam login page. Now you need to log in. Uh, one thing I did notice is when installing this for the first time, you will have to click on that Wi-Fi logo up in the top of the screen and it'll automatically reconnect to the network that we set up. For some reason, it just kind of disables for a second. But once you do that, you can log in with your Steam account. And we've now got official SteamOS installed on the ROG Ally. This will work with the X. It'll also work with the Legion Go, the Legion Go S. All that's really left to do is download some games and start having fun with it. All of the buttons here do work. The only thing we don't have on the Legion Go without a third party plugin at the time of making this video. I will have a video coming up. It does require installing Decky. So it's actually pretty simple to do. If you've installed Decky on your Steam Deck, you can get this done. But I wanted to make a uh, dedicated video and that will work with the handhelds that just don't have built in TDP control right now. But we're going to update. So it already downloaded the update. You'll just go to system update, make sure everything's good to go. And when it comes to the TDP control on the Legion Go or the Legion Go S, it actually has a built into the BIOS. So you can hold the Legion button and press either the Y button on the Legion Go S. You've got three modes or D-pad up and down on the original Legion Go. So you can adjust the TDP from there because it's kind of built into the whole system through the BIOS. Unfortunately, with the ROG Ally, it does need software control to adjust that TDP. But it's basically going to be in performance mode. So you're going to have a 15 watt TDP and a two minute boost up to around 18 to 20 watts. It's still really good performance, especially at those lower resolutions. And with the seven inch display here, it looks great at 720p. So yeah, this is pretty awesome. And I'm really glad that Valve has kind of released this for everybody. Now, again, over on their website, it does state the Legion Go, Legion Go S and the ROG Ally. But I've tested this method on the ROG Ally X. I've also tested it on the Zotac Zone. You can get it installed there just fine like it is. I will have another video coming up soon. I'll show you a few tips and tricks for, uh, you know, the ROG Ally running SteamOS. 
There's a few things I personally like to change and we'll also get TDP control here so we can go all the way down to like four watts up to 30 watts with this unit. But that's gonna wrap it up for this one. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you gonna do this with your ROG Ally or Ally X or just stick with Windows? Let us know down below. And like always, thanks for watching.